Good morning, student. Today I am going to explain you chapter number seven. The name of chapter is test, measurement, and evaluation. So first I will tell you the meaning of test. The presentation of a situation or a series of situations which bring out a specific response or answer from the subject is known as test. Test may be called as tool, a question, set of question, an examination which is used to measure a particular characteristics of an individual or a group of individuals. A test may be subjective or objective in an activity or an order or a question. Test is a form of questioning or measuring tool used to access the status of one's skill, knowledge, attitude and fitness. Test an instrument or activity used to accumulate data on a person's ability to perform a specified task. According to Barry L. Johnson and Jack Nelson, test is the form of questioning or measuring used to access retention of knowledge, capacity or ability of some endeavor. Some of the features of test are the test must be reliable, the test must be valid, it should not be expensive, the test should be specific, designed to, to assess an athlete's fitness for the activity in question. It must be objective, produce a consistent result irrespective of the tester. It must be less time consuming, the test must produce results, the test must have educational values. Now what is measurement? Measurement is the use of test and technique to collect data about a specific skill or fitness level of a person. Measurement is a process of collecting data on attributes of interest. It is the collection of the information data in numeric form. It is the record of performance or the information which is required to make judgment. Measurement is an act or process that involves the assignment of numerical value to whatever is being tested so it involves the quantity of something according to hm barrow measurement refers to the process of administrating a test to obtain quantitative data hence measurement is a process by which the level of performance fitness ability knowledge personality and skills are measured with the help of various standard tests. Features of measurement It should be quantitative in nature. It must be precise and accurate. It must be reliable. It must be valid. And it must be objective in nature. What is evaluation? Evaluation is a wider term and play a very important role in teaching learning process. Assessment of student learning requires the use of a number of techniques for measuring students' achievements. Evaluation is a systematic assessment of the design, implementation or results of an initiative for the purpose of learning or decision making. But assessment is more than collection of techniques. It begins within, with the identification of the goal and ends with a judgment concerning the extent to which the goal have been attained. The main purpose of evaluation are decision making, judgments, conclusion, finding new knowledge, organizational development and capacity building. The secondary education commission observed Nevertheless, examination and especially external examinations have a proper place in any scheme of education. According to Tuckman, evaluation is a process where in the PATS process all outcomes of a program are examined to see whether they are satisfactory particularly with reference to the programs. Stated objectives are own expectations or our own standards of excellence. Meaning of evaluation. Evaluation means to ascertain the growth and changes taking place in pupils 
as a result of teaching learning experiences to evaluate means to characterize the work or value of something it is methods of determine the extent to which established goal or objectives have been achieved it is a process of making an overlay of the outcomes as an educative experience against the background of anticipated or stated objectives it is not restricted to the result of test and examination or the teacher's estimate but include the learner's own estimates of his own ability some of the characteristics of evaluation are as follows evaluation is a continuous process it is not confined to the classroom it is comprehensive concept it is a valuable and indispensable for policies and further actions it cannot be postponed till the end of the year it must form an integral part of teaching it involves variety of tests and techniques of measurement emphasize on the major objective of an educational program based upon the data obtained from the test it includes academic and non academic subjects it is a procedure for improving the product it is compound objective observation it is comprehensive concept it is a systematic process it is a decision making process it helps in identifies strength and weakness of program it indicates an interrelationship among the society it is diagnostic appraisal reliability validity it helps in redefining the instructional objectives on the basis of feedback it is also include teachers evaluation it is a process of the determining it includes both quantitative and qualitative description what are the needs and importance of test measurement and evaluation in physical education to know about the progress with the help of test measurement and evaluation physical education teachers can get the appropriate knowledge about the progress of the player athlete to formulate the objectives for knowing the abilities and capacities if objective have not been achieved then restarting the objectives motivation of an athlete to understand the objectives and capacities of an individual people and interest also evaluate the learner feedback for the student to evaluate teaching that is feedback for the teachers to make the teaching more concrete and effective for classification of sports person for preparation of effective planning for research and experimentation for discovering the needs of participants for knowing the achievements in future consequently we can say that the test and measurement are really significant in the field of physical education and sports